Hi guys, it's AB414 here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. We are back with another trading video for you guys today. And you're probably thinking about this title, not a clickbait video, I can assure you it's not. I sincerely believe that the five methods I'm going to show you in this video can literally make you 100k in probably about a day. I think you can make 20k on each of them quite comfortably within an hour probably. And let's all be honest with ourselves, 20k an hour is not bad at all on FIFA 17. Now I would also like to add before we get into this video, definitely go and check out App Bounty. There will be a link in the description. Use my code there for a few free credits right at the start of the game once you go and download the app. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it from me in this intro. I'm going to leave you now with a few clips in the background of me just talking over them getting in a bound though i might do it live with the mic i probably will to be honest and i'm only showing you guys these five absolutely epic trading methods on fifa 17 let's dive into the video right then guys so here we are ready for some trading and let's dive into the first method of these five it is going to be doing the converted method now how you actually find players for this is literally go across the top five leagues in europe and literally just basically hit just spam that and literally what you want to do is actually i should have done this before is change the position to striker now striker is going to be really really good for this people are going to be wanting to try them on different positions i've got a few i'm going to show you today now let's start with my first one we have indeed got Michi Bakshuai. Be feel free to go and use these players if you do indeed desire you literally just need to go and do that drop in in cam see what he's going for if it's like that and there's like way too many on the first page, just go and do that. Spam it up and go and see what there is. So 5.1k, that could be a deal. Let's go and have a look what else there is on the transfer market. 5.6k, that's not going to be a deal. But that's literally the process you have to do. You can also do mass bidding with this. Um, next player here, we've got Harry Kane. Um, actually, I forgot to show you something. You can also actually do this in the central midfield. So this is going to be a good, another good method. You could take that one, but... I don't think anyone's going to be paying 7.6k for a batch UI in centre mid. But of course, you can do it in centre mid too. Next, player, we're going to do Kane. I won't show you like examples for all of them. I'll just show you the best players. Um, and it's kind of the same process, really. You just go ahead and search on not just centre mid, but also Cam. So that's pretty easy for him. So Kane is another good player to deal with. We've also got Lucas Perez from Arsenal, the new signing from Deportivo. I think they got him from. Let's go and hit search on him. I believe this guy is actually quite versatile. So I actually think if you played with FIFA with this guy in cam, he'd be pretty good. I can see a few open bids there that you could win on that guy. Let's go into centre mid two. And no real good deals there, actually. None on mass bid either. Um, next up, we got Lloyd Grammy. This guy's been good for conversions all year round. And I think it's brilliant for the FIFA 17 training community that not only when he left Chelsea, he didn't actually go out the Premier League because... He's one of the sweatiest strikers on the game, and also he's absolutely sick to trade with. So let's go have a look in cam here, um, see if there's any options. We've got 8.9k, 8.8k. Mm, doesn't look like a lot of options on Remy there, but I'm pretty sure you can get him on a decent deal on mass bid. And then finally for this one, it is indeed going to be Daniel Ings. Now this guy's actually been good to be converting with a lot of FIFAs in a row now. And uh, despite being non-rare last week, he's still pretty good to deal with. You could pick up all those three to be honest and list them up for like 3,800 coins a pot. That wouldn't even be a bad um, decision to make there. But that is basically how you do the converted method. Pick some Premier League strikers. I've shown you five examples there. Look at them in cam and centre mid and basically pick up profit on them. That's a good deal actually on Danny Ings. So go and pick that up if, if you want to. Of course, I'm actually investing right now and I want to keep my coin amount at 10k. So I'm going to keep it like that for now. But of course, if you guys were doing this yourself, you'd actually go and pick that up. Another good trick whilst trading is looking for players that are a little bit different. Now, when you go onto players and literally just search up it, most positions, if you see them with a really good chemistry style, say like Catalyst or something, they're literally, they all of a sudden become far more popular. As you can see, the Quadrado for 16k, Lucas for 6.9k. There's a lot of people that are going to go for a lot more money simply because of the chemistry style they have on them. So I'm going to show you a few examples here. That's literally how you find them, by the way. Just go through that. You literally do most positions. Cam, to be honest. If you're looking for a striker, I'd probably go Hunter, so let's go Striker and go Hunter. That would be a good one. There'd be a lot of good deals in there, no doubt. And um, basically, I'm going to show you a few examples here, so let's go on with it. We've got Lucas Muriel. Um, I think his first name's Duke, Lucas, actually. Luis, there it is. Luis Muriel. So as you can see, if we search up, doesn't matter there, actually. Let's go into the chemistry style of Hunter. So as you can see, if we go and search up here, 9k, that's... These two would be really, really good to just pick up. And you actually list them up for literally a lot of coins. That one actually be good on open bid too. I might bid on that later. If I can get them for a ridiculously cheap price, then I will. Um, that's literally what you have to do. Just look through the chemistry. So I was having actually just a catalyst with them. Let's have a look there. Oh my god, look at that deal. I'm so tempted to do that, but I'm not. Because I, I made myself a promise at the beginning of this video that I'm not going to break that bank. But of course, you guys could. Like You just would buy that. It's a great deal, of course, but... I'm not going to break the bank on this bloody well video because I want to keep my coins as they are. 
We've got another man here. It's going to be Dembele. Let's go ahead and search. It's actually the new Dortmund signing. He's got talent, this lad. So we go and search Catalyst. There's going to be a lot for him in Catalyst. As you can see, I saw some good ones. 3k there. I mean, it's going to take a while to look through this guy. But it's the same sort of process that I'm talking about earlier. Um, and then finally, we've actually got Slimani. You can also look at... Um, Oh, what do you call it? You could also look at Dembele with um bloody well um Hunter on him too if you guys wanted. But as you can see, Samani. Let's go on Hunter. Three thousand coins. Anyone for like two k maybe? Anywhere two k. It's too many of them, but that's the same sort of process with him. Just literally go and search these guys up and literally just hunt for deals. And that is basically how you do that one. Look for them with chemistry styles. They'll be going for a lot more money and the deals will actually be popping up all over the transfer market. Hopefully another 20k in the bank for you guys. Now the next one is going to be all to do with squad building challenges and how this can make you an absolutely ridiculous amount of profit. So as you can see here, the player of the month ones are going to be really useful. So of course Hazard I think is going to be getting a player of the month one very soon. I'm recording this on Monday so I don't know when he's going to be getting it. But you know who knows to be honest. Um... If you go on here, marquee matchups is what you want to look at. So, look at the lesser leagues. Arsenal and Tottenham players, they wouldn't have changed too much. These guys might have, but these guys, now this is what you want to look at. So, let's have a look at the K-League Classic here. You need Hyundai players 1 and um, Cell players 1. So, that's basically how you're going to make money from these. What these players are is absolutely ridiculously expensive. Now, I think I forgot to check the teams, but I think I can remember from the logos. All you literally need to do is go down here to the K-League Classic, if I can finally go and find it. There it is. And so through, that's one of them actually sold. So let's go and have a look how much they're actually going for on the market. None for 200, none for 250. Look at the prices these guys are going for. It's absolutely ridiculous just for little players. Look, look at that. That's their cheapest player, and he's blooming gold. I mean, much of the silvers are going for this. Let's go and have a look. So silver will go 1.5k maybe. Perhaps a little too much there. But you can lower it, of course. And people will not be aware that these guys are going for so much. So people are packing these guys thinking, oh, let me just lob them up for like 2k or something. And not 2k, like 200 coins. And like people are picking them up on bid and not on, but on bin even. For absolutely ridiculously pri ridiculous prices. So another thing you can do, just go and like set the price or something and go and mass bid and absolutely ton of them. And that's another way of making absolutely sick profits with the um, squad winning challenges. It is so cool, that method. I absolutely love it. I hope you I hope you guys got it. Um, also, you need to look at player of the month predictions. At the moment, I think Hazard's going to be winning it. So if we go and have a look at Chelsea players right now, there's actually three Chelsea players in contention to win it. We'll go and have a look. And actually, they have risen in price by an absolute ton. So the silver players at the moment... They're literally non-existent. You cannot get a Chelsea silver player for cheap at all on the transfer market right now, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, the cheapest you can get these guys are 1.4k, and before they've been sending for like 300 coins. So, it's literally that simple how the profit is made from these. Oh my god, I absolutely love these sort of methods. They make you so many profit, so much profit. Squad and challenges. Go ahead and exploit it. The next method isn't even going to be the 1, 2, 3 method, but with informs, you can do it 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000 coins. So if you go and have a look through all of the players here, there are some absolutely ridiculous deals. Now, when you're looking up these players, you want to go and have a look for the ones that have open bids on them, that, or the ones that look really, really cheap. So as you can see here, Camel Glick, what you want to also have is have foot bin open. So you can literally just go and add the transfer targets, check the price in him, if he, and if he's going for a lot, Go and, of course, bid him up. And the profit that you can be making with some of these informs is absolutely ridiculous. So, Corb's another one you can look at. Go on Footbin, see how much he's going through. He's going for like 15k. Perbin on 10k of him. It's literally that simple. This method is pretty self-explanatory, actually. And it's really, really simple. And it actually makes you an absolute load of profit on FIFA 15. Not FIFA 15, FIFA 17. It's really, really interesting. And I actually really, really enjoy using it. You can actually go and mass bid on a load of informs and make ridiculous amounts of profit. And finally, we're going to be talking about the last method in this video. It's all to do with silvers. How you literally find these players is literally just doing this, um, 750 and indeed 1k. Look at the amount of bids you can literally get on these guys. It's actually ridiculous. He's probably going to be a good deal. Add the transfer targets. Have foot been open. Go and bid on him. This guy's probably going to be a good deal. No, nah, actually, he hasn't got a bid on him. Look for the ones with bids on him. Triore looks like a quality centre back. Per bid on him if he's going for a good amount. Of course, if he's not, don't. But silvers are so easy to trade with, to be honest. And also, you can literally go through like other leagues, perhaps, with this. The Premier League, go ahead and search up 200 coins here. None for that, 250. If you get a, a Premier League silver 200 coins, then you're literally in the bank. Because a lot of the time, they'll be going for about 400 coins, actually. And it's really, really sick to snipe with these guys and to trade with them. Mass bidding works fantastically, too. Bang. Look at that snipe, man. Dear Monday, how much are you going for, my friend? Wow, that was a fantastic deal to end off the episode. Hopefully you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you didn't, please 
go and drop a like on the video. I can probably sell this going for like 400 coins right now. Place on the transfer market. Let's go and do it in a minute. Um, I also wanted to just add something before I end this video. If you go and look at my transfer targets, right, transfer list right now, I've got a load of Belgiums. I invested in these guys right at the start when I knew Hazard was going to win Player of the Month. So when you need Belgiums to complete the Hazard Player of the Month award, I would indeed whack all of these guys um, on the transfer market and literally make an absolutely ridiculous amount of profit. That's why you see these methods are. Use all of them. You should be able to make 10k pretty easy on FIFA 17. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Check out our bounty in the link in the description. Use my code to get a few free credits right at the start of the game. But for now, peace out.